Good morning, my name is Mark Rader. I'm the contracted city forester with North Oaks here to talk to you today about the emerald ash borer. The emerald ash borer is an introduced pest. It's very shiny and it's metallic green in color. It was discovered in St. Paul in 2009 and since that time has killed tens of thousands of trees in Minnesota. Trees have no natural defenses against this, this insect as it was introduced from, from Asia. What the borer does is go underneath the bark, lays eggs there, and they will feed on the cambium layer, which is rich in starches and sugars, and essentially will cut off all nutrient and water flow as it works its way up and down the tree, at which point they will burrow out of the bark creating those D-shaped exit holes. At the end of a tree's life with emerald ash borer, if you were to take off a section of bark, you may see the telltale S-shaped galleries underneath the bark, and that is indicative of the feeding of the emerald ash borer larvae. The first thing you kind of notice on an ash tree that's being impacted by emerald ash borer, it's kind of a blonding or a flecking of the bark, and that's essentially from woodpecker activity. Woodpeckers are really good at knowing that there are some bores underneath the bark. They can hear their feeding, they can pick up on the vibration, and they have to kind of explore where that bore may be, and so they cause a lot of this flecking on the bark. But this is kind of what, you'd, what you would first see on that first and second year of infection. North Oaks is a very wooded community. Many lots have different types of trees and it's not always easy for the landowner to know exactly what type of tree they have. This is an ash tree right here. Um, one of the diagnostic tools, at least for when you're looking at the trunk of the tree, is it does kind of have a diamond pattern on the trunk. Generally, they grow straight with a nice single trunk. That's why they've always been envied as good boulevard trees. They have good structure. They have little as far as diseases, or at least that was the case historically. This is the type of tree that a homeowner may be interested in keeping this tree around uh, to continue to provide the benefits that it does as far as heating and cooling costs, wildlife homes, clean air, reducing sound, and also creating some privacy in between the home. So identifying ash trees is not always that straightforward. One of the species that can really confuse people is the box elder tree. It's also known as the maple ash, and it can look quite similar from a distance. In the box elder case, these are the leaflets, usually comprised of three leaflets per leaf. Here is an ash leaf, three leaflets for the box elder, seven or more for the ash tree. Ash trees also have the small seed pods. They almost look like canoe paddles. And box elder seed is more like a maple seed. It's kind of the samaro that, that spins like a helicopter top. Also can see those in the fall. And that's also a good diagnostic tool to distinguish between a box elder and an ash tree. So after completing your inventory, you may notice that you have a lot of smaller diameter ash trees on your property. So there's a way you can kind of slow the spread even within your property. Number one is treat high value trees if that's an approach you wanna take. Secondly, remove smaller diameter trees proactively before they die. And third, your last option is to wait until the tree becomes diseased. The city does have a shade tree disease ordinance. So if trees do become heavily infested, they will be required to be removed. If your approach to managing emerald ash borer will be to proactively remove some trees on your property, there are a few things that you want to keep in mind. A good rule of practice is for every tree you take down proactively, you should replant something in its place. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be another tree, but it could also be shrubs, it could also be grasses or forbs, anything else, anything to try to kind of take the place of the benefits that that tree gave us. You can also find a lot of good information on the City of North Oaks website as far as recommended trees and shrubs for your property.